good afternoon and welcome to Talk and Teeth Thursday. Here we are, we are going to talk about some dried fruit. And hold on, I just realized that there is no sound in this. I think this is me now. Um, okay, you may be a parent, you may be a grandparent, you may be a carer, you may be somebody who looks after children and you are out and about or at home you're struggling to get your children to eat fruit and what you go for is to get them five a day, you pick something like this up. Now this is, I'm not picking on this brand, there are hundreds of different brands. Children's snacks are a huge market and I have seen many children with cavities and the parents will say, no, they never get sweets. They only get treats at meal times. And you're, 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 you're trying to work out where the sugar is coming from for, because for a cavity to develop, you have to have um, sugar involved somewhere along the way. So what you want to do is try and work out where that sugar is coming from. And you know something? It's not always, it's not always easy. So, let me see if I can just get to where I am. No, I don't want to. Ah, right. So we often go through, right, well, tell me everything that they're eating, particularly the things they're eating between meals. And so often you, you come across something like this or a variation of this. And what it says on the bottom there, if you can see that, is no added sugar. And, you know, parents look at that and think, oh, right, okay, that's okay, that's good for my child it's safe for teeth now when you actually turn it round on the back and you actually have a look on the back you can actually see that carbohydrate now this is the bit you want to see is how much sugar there is per 100 grams okay because the recommendation is five grams per 100 grams is considered a low sugar product and i think over 22 is considered a high sugar product so carbohydrate of which sugars is 42 grams per 100 grams now it says up here the ingredients are apples pears and mangoes you think great so you know that's got to be good so many people don't read this and if you read this i mean what what sense does that mean what does what does it actually say so i just want to share my screen a little second because um if i can find what i'm looking for so let's go with this so what you can see here is this mango bear yo-yo now these are little what i would have referred to as fruit loops in my past but basically these are concentrated dried fruit snacks which according to the, the labeling, it says that there's, they're, they're a healthy snack. They're one of your five a day, um, that, you know, there's no added sugar. So what's not to like? Okay. When I showed you this and showed you the, the, the ingredients label, all of a sudden you've realized there's actually a heck of a lot of sugar in that to begin with. Now, the difference between eating the Fruit Loops or this sort of thing and eating the whole fruit it's the fact that all the fibers removed, all the um, water is removed because so much of fruit, the whole fruit is actually made up of water. So what you are left with is this condensed, um, basically completely dried out left sugar. So you've got this natural fruit sugars and when they are concentrated like that, when the, when the liquid is removed, when the fiber is removed, all of a sudden, you have free sugars. And those free sugars um, will actually cause tooth decay. That's one thing about the products. There's a heck of a lot more sugar in that we may have realized. The other thing about these products is they are intensely sticky. So again, you've probably, if, if you've ever given a child one of these, you will know exactly what I mean. So they're sticky and they're hard to peel through. And I mean, I was experiencing with one of these the other day. So that's what put it in my head. But they then are sticky and they stick to teeth. They stick on the biting surfaces, the crinkly bits on the biting surfaces of the teeth, and they are hard to remove. And the things that we know are so damaging for baby and permanent teeth and developing cavities are things that stick around the teeth and are saturated with sugar. So basically the difference between eating one of these and eating the whole fruit, eating the mango, is the fact that the mango is made up of, the majority of it is water, with 
um, natural sugars in it and um, there's lots of fiber and it's sort of good for you in a whole lot of fronts but because it is so much water it actually washed away and it is not considered damaging and it will not damage the teeth. The problem is when you actually get caught with these concentrated uh, fruits and the same thing with fruit juices where you've got fruit concentrate and again it's an intense sugar basically all the liquid part has been taken out of it and all of a sudden it becomes a free sugar and the World Health Organization and all the nutritionists and the, the dental people will all say to you those are the ones that are most damaging for teeth. Oh, very well, very easy for me to say that. So what on earth are you going to do? So I have just, let me see if I can get past this. There's sometimes that you don't have an option. Sometimes that, you know, you are stuck with, um, you are stuck with doing something. You have, it's easy, they're convenient, you can put them in your bag. If you're out and about, you know, they're handy to start to child if you're caught. So what do you actually do about it? Number one, if you're going to have them best at meal time, if that's not practical and you're caught on the hop between meals, see them as treats. This is not a healthy snack. It is a treat. So try and view that as a treat. Now, again, if you get caught in the hop that you have to use it between meals and you go, oh, right, well, okay, there's a sugar that we could have done without and it's going to be sticky around the teeth. Encourage your children to drink water because that will help to buffer and neutralize and rinse the, the water, the sugars away and it will also help to actually remove some of that stickiness around the, the teeth. Um, then what do you do? Well, basic routine of good oral hygiene. So basically toothbrush and last thing at night and one other time in the day. A um, couple of things you could add into that. Um, so many kids don't like minty flavors. So look for a toothpaste that has all the best bits in it. So you've got the fluoride that's actually going to help um, remineralize the tooth surface and create a healthy environment in life. So if you, your children don't like mint, you've got a number of options. We have a number of options on the website. So I've got Oranus up there, which is foam free as well as flavor free. And there's a lot of kids that, you know, that's just right up their street. Um, you then have the OHP range, which we keep a number of now. Again, they also do one that's actually foam and flavor free. They also do the ones that you'll see in the health authorities, um, health education and toothbrush impacts. Then you've got something like brush baby. Now the brush baby, the brush baby, um, what you've got in there is you also have xylitol. Now xylitol is clever because xylitol stops the bacteria that cause decay sticking to your teeth. So anything with xylitol is, is a good plus for your, your oral health and, and your body will make some of it. But any product that's 100% xylitol in it is gonna be a good thing. So it's the reason why I'm often encouraging older children who chew chewing gum to chew sugar-free gum with xylitol because they stimulate the saliva flow, which is a good thing. Plus you've got xylitol that stops the bacteria that cause decay sticking to your teeth. So have a look at the Dr. John's range of, of uh, sweets. So the tooth shaped lollies are great, you know, a treat to have to have, which is also gonna be safe for teeth. What else can you do? Um, we've got Biomin toothpaste, which comes in strawberry and melon. Like Biomin has got fluoride in it, but if you look, Biomin has a very low level of fluoride, but it works over a very long period of time. So with most of toothpaste that have fluoride in them, what you'll get is toothpaste that you'll get the benefit of fluoride for a couple of hours. With Biomin, you will get um, the fluoride, which will work and be retained in the mouth for eight to 12 hours. So there's, there's quite a significant difference there. So it can use a much lower concentration, but it lasts over a longer period of time. The other product you might want to look at if your children are decay risk. Are, so in other words, they maybe take medications that have sugar in them. They maybe have very limited repertoire of what they like, um, and some of that tends to be sugary. They may be dehydrated, so they don't have a lot of um, buffering, neutralizing going on naturally. So it's a great reason for encouraging your kids to drink water. Um, it's a product called Toothmus. Now, GC Toothmus is calcium and phosphate basically in a tube and it hardens the tooth surface and it's it's this seesaw effect so when you put sugar in your mouth including this sort of sugar what happens is it stays around the teeth plaque biofilm gets 
saturate with the sugars and the bacteria in the sugar eat if bacteria in the plant eat the sugar and create acid and that acid can stay around the teeth for anywhere between 20 minutes and two hours so what the something like uh recal them which is the the, the training name for tooth mousse the active ingredients in tooth mousse is it super saturates the mouth and heals the damage that has been done by sugary snacks any sort of sugar whether it be um drinks or sweets i just thought i'd highlight this so preferably not at all and um, if you are having them have them as a treat and it is part of um you know a number of things that you're going to do about looking after their teeth encourage them to drink water afterwards because that will help to clear um the sugars away from the mouth and then what's going to happen is make sure you're using fluoride toothpaste last thing at night and one other time every single day so if your child is under three you want a smear of fluoride toothpaste of at least 1000 parts per million of fluoride in it and you see that on the back of the tube if your child is over three you want to use a toothpaste a pea-sized blob of toothpaste that's at least 1350 parts per million or over and then you what you can do is actually um let them spit out but don't let them rinse out afterwards now you never want to let children eat toothpaste from the tube but let a little bit stay around there and that will work for longer for you with your tooth mousse and um, there's descriptions on the website and you'll find out how to use it but it's dead easy just put a wee smear and as i say i got caught with one of these the other day and i thought mm, okay right well you know something that's what mum's given me, that's what we're going to have. Um, I also had a tooth, tooth mousse to hand, and thankfully my small friend is very partial to tooth mousse, so it was just a wee smear in the mouth, and it, it'll help to help counteract the potential damage of the sugar. It will not, if you're having a lot of sugars over long periods, that they're in the mouth for long periods of time, tooth mousse, nothing is going to counteract that. Um, but what you want to do is try and keep sugar in small times only. Avoid anything with sugar in the last, free sugar in the last thing at night. Make sure you're using fluoride toothpaste last thing at night, one other time in the day, usually first thing in the morning. And, and try and encourage them to drink water because that's a huge benefit because often children mistake thirst for hunger, a hunger for thirst. Yes, hunger for thirst. So encouraging them to drink water or they start looking for snacks and things is a really good thing. So there you go. Uh, that is my Talking to Thursday. It is short and sweet. We're playing around with Talking to Thursday at the minute, so it's going to pop up at different times, and we'll see how you go. I'm going to try and see if we can do simultaneous broadcasting to Facebook and Instagram. So as I said, a lot of things going on behind the scenes. So there you go. If you've got any questions, I will be around. Um, Go and have a look at the website. There's lots about sugar and about xylitol on the tips page and all the products that I just mentioned you will also find in my shop. So thanks for joining me. I will speak to you next Thursday. And until then, stop and think before you decide what you're going to eat and drink and when you're going to eat and drink it. Okay, take care. Thanks for listening. All the best. See you next week. Bye.